Welcome, Waffle Warfets. We are back with the brilliant Destroy All Humans 2 reprobed on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on Conqueror difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the previous video, we built a transmitter so that we could try to contact the Furon Empire and get some backup in terms of a new mothership and also maybe some new aliens to help us out in the war. But unfortunately, after defending, after building the transmitter and then defending Pox whilst he was on the phone, for some reason they don't want to help Pox because they're angry that he lost all of the DNA that we gathered up, I guess throughout the first game. So no help is being sent. We phoned home, but we got no bloody help, Wolf Morfets. And then we did an odd job where we basically spoke to an innocent secretary that was on her lunch break. And then for some reason, Crypto found it hilarious, despite her already having a rough day and doing something that she wasn't happy about, he decided to make her life even worse. Because Crypto is an absolute wanker, Wolf Morfets. He's a wanker. It's as simple as that. He's a great guy, but he's also a wanker. <laughs> but uh, what we're going to be doing today is um, we've got a couple of... Um, what they called. We've got a couple of um, Cult of Arc Voodoo missions that we need to do. There's also another odd job that we can do as well, but I'm going to skip that for now, and we're going to go straight to the uh, Cult of Arc Voodoo mission, because I'm right next to it, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Now, I might need to... I might need to get a disguise. I'm not sure. Nope. Shama Lama slips up. Oh, hail the Lord of the Sacred Crotch! Ask how she got into the sacred. <laughs> ask, ask how she got into the sacred crutch. <laughs> That's touching, really. But uh, how do you guys know about Ark Voodle? Word gets around. Sounds like a groovy kind of god. Know where we sign up? <laughs> you can join any day, cutie. Welcome her to the fold. Sure, baby. Uh, consider yourself sign. Uh, up. Uh, whatever. Ruby, but we need our leader, Shama Lama, to tell the rest of the group it's okay, you know? Well, bummer. He got nailed by the fuzz. Can you help us get him back? Why is she talking like such a moron? Oh my god. <laughs> Except mission. One Shama Lama coming up. You guys are gonna owe me though. Far out. But you're gonna have to ask the freak where he is, cause we don't know. Anything else you need to tell me about this ridiculously circuitous side mission? <laughs> Whoa, those were some big words, man. Oh yeah, they were. They're very big. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Now, Sharma Lama confuses the hell out of me because I'm pretty sure that Sharma Lama is, um, is white, but he sounds bloody Indian. Sexual liberation does not mean open season on gravity my ass! There's a freak right next to us. Oh, sweet, that's convenient. How you doing, freak? We ain't spoke to you for a couple of videos. How you doing, buddy? Still high as hell by the looks of it. Yo, free. <laughs> Ask where Shama Lama is. I'm looking for Shama Lama. Can you help me out? Who the hell are you? And what's with your voice? Uh, the Slippy sent me. Oh, well, all you had to do was ask. I did. Shama Lama's in a cop car. They're at the Goit Tunnel now. If you can get to Golden Gate Park, you should be able to stop them. I think that's the first time that the freak has acknowledged that my voice is weird. The first time. I've spoke to him as a woman about four times in this playthrough so far, and he's never ever questioned the man voice. That's the first time. <laughs> Ask where he gets his info. You seem to know an awful lot for a deadbeat uh, hippie. What's your secret? I can read minds. Is that right? Nah, I'm messing with you, man. I pick up radio transmissions with my teeth. What? <laughs> okay, reach Shamalama. Who, who says Shamalama Ding Dong? Now, what's that from? I'm hearing that in my head. Shamalama Ding Dong. 
Who says that? I don't know if it's a TV show or if it's a song or if it's a movie or a game character, but I'm hearing it in my head and it's aggravating me. Let me know in the comments below. What is that from? Somebody says the line, Shamalama Ding Dong. I don't even know if it's an important part of whatever it's from, <laughs> but I'm hearing it in my head and I don't know what it's from. And it's one of those aggravating things where I'm going to try and think about it and then it's going to distract me from my commentary. Oh, there he is. I thought you said he was near the quit tunnel. <laughs> Help him, blubber. Oh, we just found some new artwork. Oh, there's a trophy for throwing a uh, cop through the donut ring, I think. I don't want to go through the hole. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I killed him. <laughs> I thought I mission failed then. Let's go Shamalama to the hippie commune. Use the dislocator to destroy police cars. Oh, come on. That's a shit, it's a shit weapon. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Shamalama. Oh, this is ne already nearly done it. Oh, the flipping hell's running me over. Oh, come on, that hit a car. You just crossed the there we go, done. Now we can focus on defending this hippie guy. Ah! I think I just uh, zapped Sharma. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I, I don't control where this bloody electricity goes. We're also being shot at, so move your ass. Eventually, we'll be able to pick up cars, but I think, I don't know if it's once we get bloody. Yeah, where'd that go? Once we go to Japan or something, I think that's when you can get the final upgrade where you can start picking up heavy things. And that includes, I don't know if the robots are in this game still. Because in the first game, there was robots. I think there might be in this one as well. But you can start picking up vehicles and robots and just chucking them. Makes the game so much bloody easier. They kind of didn't do anything wrong, but, you know, screw it. That's what they get. I mean, you're moving pretty well. Is he wearing these shoes? Has he got sat? No, it's bare feet. You're moving pretty good for running around the street barefooted, buddy. That's what I always thought about whenever I watched Lord of the Rings. How the fucking hell does Frodo and Sam manage to climb a mountain so efficiently when they're not wearing shoes? But if you never wear shoes and you live your life barefoot, your feet just get so much hard skin on the bottom, they become like iron. So that's probably why. But still, climbing a mountain barefoot, that's got to hurt. It's got to hurt like hell. Especially all them sharp rocks. I've gone to the beach before with lots of rocks on it, and I walk around barefoot quite often, and oh my god, horrible. Where are you going? We're getting pretty low on health at the moment. No, don't go that way, there's two policemen there. Are you listening to me, Shama? Get the hell out of it. Flipping the distance on that guy. Why are you attacking us? And why are these hippies got guns? They're supposed to be pacifists. Oh, I know the next mission that we're going to have to do for the hippies. For the cult of Ark Voodoo, I should say. You saved my life. <laughs> have you heard the good pickup line of Ark Voodoo? Heard it. I am it. <laughs> Remind Shama of how much he owes you. <laughs> you owe me, hippie. Yes, thank you for freeing me. I would never have survived in there. Did you see the cells? Filthy. Yeah, yeah, that's great, Shama. Uh, but, but I was thinking. Ask him to manage the Ark Voodoo cult. I need someone to handle the human resources side of things for Ark Voodle. You up for it? Absolutely. Ark Voodle is the grooviest thing this side of the Milky Way. Good. Drug addled as you are, you seem to be able to get people to do what you want. It's all about the shrooms, man. All about the shrooms. It's so.
What the? What's this? What's Ronald and Harry Potter doing in the cutscene? Get out of here, Harry and Ron, with your bloody flying car. Milk him for a big reward. I'll take my gratitude in material goods, thanks. Something shiny be nice. Well, I have been hunting an alien artifact for ages, but conveniently, it hasn't come up in conversation until now. It's a super weapon which summons a fearsome demon from the bowels of the earth. But I'd need to be able to travel across the world to assemble it. Bummer. Uh, what part of flying saucer don't you understand? Oh, sweet. Well, thanks, Apu. So eventually he's going to be able to create a weapon for us that can summon a demon from the depths of hell. Lovely, that's just what you need. Very nice. Okay. Have we got enough time to do another one? I think we have. Yep, there he is over there. Okay, so we can go straight into another Cult of uh, Ark Voodle mission. Okay, so I think oh, this one might be... Oh, what, I can't remember what this mission is. I don't know what was going on with those bloody cars in that cutscene. That threw me off. <laughs> Flipping hell. Okay, well, we might as well go straight into it. Right, don't, don't get, don't get, don't get. Okay, good. Everyone's starting to be a bit more normal with me walking around. Establishing shots. All hail the Lord of the Sacred Crutch. Thank you, come again. Get an update on the Ark Voodle cult. How are the parties going? Uh, finally feeling part of our little cult family. The police have been riding our asses. This one cop, Officer Rudolf Malekmeister, he is harassing the hell out of us. What do those pigs have against pacifists anyway? Well, I don't know. I don't think you've been a pacifist. I have definitely seen a few hippies running around with weapons. Although they look more like a biker gang than actual hippies, so I'm not sure. Maybe they ain't hippies. I'm going to ask about the super weapon first, actually. Got any news on the alien artifact front? We have been very busy. It is not easy keeping the police from tearing down our tents. But this super weapon is going to knock your socks off. I can assure you of that. I mean, you couldn't have been that busy, because I only spoke to you about 10 seconds ago, mate. So you've done nothing in the last 10 seconds. So you sure as hell haven't been busy. You've just been standing in a field. <laughs> okay, accept mission. A chance to wail on some cops? Count me in, tiger. Right on! If even one of our tents is saved, we will be able to rebuild. You clone tents? Uh, never mind. Uh, let's go pack some pigs. That's just a little hint to let you know that you can let everything be destroyed except one tent. <laughs> oh, these these policemen are going to come. I think I don't know if my um, I don't know if my uh, Zappa Mag can actually destroy tents. So you might have to be careful with your gunfire. I could be wrong, but you might have to be careful. Use explosives to kill cops. Oh, I see. That's all right. That's an easy one. We have received information about cult recruiting in the area. Anyone found? Where is it? What, what are you? This is your last warning. Vacate the area. Lovely. Gotta make sure there's enough explosive barrels on the floor. Don't say we didn't warn you. Ah, shit. Get the hell out of here. Move out. This is your last warning. already on fire. They only got shot at. What is this? Makes no sense. They shouldn't be on fire. There we go, lovely. Right, we can just focus on killing people now. Just keep an eye on the mini-map for, as always, the little orange uh, triangles. Right, three minutes of defending this place. How many cops are they going to be sending? Mind you, it is America. I reckon America, a lot of people do aspire to be in the police force and the army. You want to, see some real to be honest, I'd like to be. A, well, the reason why I wouldn't want to be a policeman, I don't know about America, but in the UK, 
the amount of rules and shit that you need to follow and the amount of just non-powers that you have as a policeman is ridiculous. I would hate to be a policeman in the UK because trying to help people is impossible. Absolutely impossible. I don't know if we've lost any tents yet. It doesn't say we've lost any. I just, I, it still makes no sense that they're on fire. Oh no, there we go. Oh, they're, they're over here secretly. They destroyed one tent and then they all just stopped shooting. I think I just killed a hippo. Don't make me angry. I was in Chicago for the Democratic Convention. Chicago. It's a piece of artwork over there. That's what those red things are. You fucking nail. What well, you ain't got to come and shotgun me in the face like that? That's a bit rude. Get a job. I've got a job. <laughs> I've got a, I've got several jobs actually. I don't know if you're insulting me or crypto, but crypto and me have both got jobs. Okay. Technically, I've got three jobs. I do two cleaning jobs, and I also do a YouTube job because this is practically a job at this point. The amount of time spent on it. So yeah, I've got three jobs. So you get a fucking get a job. job. You only got one job, mate. You're a policeman. That's it. And you probably spend 90% of your time at the donut shop. I've seen what you're all doing. Oh. Another minute of defending and then we are finito. You want to see some real police brutality? <laughs> you want to see some real police brutality? I've seen a lot of police brutality. I've done literally nothing in this game sometimes and you all started shooting at me. I know I'm an alien, but Jesus, if I haven't done nothing, you should be shooting at me. Especially if I'm like an, amb an, amb an ambassador from the uh, alien race. And then you go and like attack me for no reason. I send a message back home and then they bring like 20 UFOs and you've got Independence Day on your hands. And well, they don't win in Independence Day. I don't care what that film says. They do not win in Independence Day. No way. I don't get paid enough for this. Didn't they make like a spiritual successor, like a sort of a second one to uh, Independence Day? If they did, I never saw it. Might need to watch it. Don't know if it was good or not. If I ever see that little green dude again. Lovely. <clears throat> now we're getting so much Furo tech. Cult survives police brutality. Arkboodle calls down fire from heaven. Oh, lovely. I definitely don't look like that anymore, though. I'm a hippie now. I've become one with my people. Oh, look, it's finally... So oh, another mission. Have we got time? Uh, Got about 12 minutes. That should be enough time, shouldn't it? <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Publicity stunt. Oh, I know this one. Lord of the Sacred Grudge. Get an update on the Ark Voodle cult. How's the cult going, Chammy? New converts by the bushel. Membership has been falling off, son of Ark Voodle. Perhaps you could give us a hand. Sure, like I got nothing better to do. We are needing you to advertise in a very big way. Okay. Let's ask about the super weapon again. What? What? Grill Sharma Lama? All right, let's grill Sharma Lama first. What's with the drop in converts? You skimping on the free love again? It is not my fault. No, <laughs> word only travels so fast. We need to advertise. How's it going with the research on the super weapon, Chammy? You're looking very hard for clues. Please, you will just have to trust me. See, uh, that's where we have a problem. Yeah. We may have found something, but it has yet to arrive. I will have more to speak of this soon, Sacred Son. Okay. Well, uh, he did say he needs to travel around the world and that. So, you know, he probably isn't making much progress until we... We, we probably have to meet him again over in, uh, in England and then probably the other locations as well. I think you might even go to the moon in this game. I can't remember. Except mission... <clears throat> what kind of big way? 
And why do I think I'm not gonna like it? Use your holy saucer! Pick up a cult member, fly him around the streets! And get shot at by every grunt in Bay City? Why don't I just go chew on a grenade? It's only a few things. Nothing to worry about. People will think it's fireworks. <laughs> sure. But you cannot fire back. You cannot risk eating potential converts. Why am I not surprised, damn pacifists? Please do go to your saucer and select a cult member. Good luck, sacred son. Yeah, I think I had a bit of trouble with this mission because I, I couldn't work out how to use my splurge master. Because you need to use your splurge master for an optional objective, and your uh, your your weapons get changed around a little bit. And basically, to still use your splurge master, you need to use the abductor uh, view of the uh, of the cannon of the uh, UFO. So I got very confused with this mission. Low from the boodle, brother. Ask how to promote the cult. I hope this plan of yours is better than it sounds. It's gonna be groovy, man. Pick me up in your laser beam and let's fly. What? So you can throw up on pedestrians? Great idea, Sparky. Have a cookie. No. I'll shout the good pickup line of Ark Boodle. It's gonna be far out. Oh, right. Why didn't I think of that? Things we do for love. Lovely. And also, I'm not going to pick you up with my uh, laser beam. Uh, that would kill you, mate. I'm going to pick you up with my tractor beam. Let's get it right, buddy. Ask why he joined the cult. Now, how'd you come, Dark Voodle? Not that I care, but I like to pretend. <laughs> my dad's been giving me a hard time. He cut off my allowance. So I decided to get back at him the best way I know how. Organized religion, baby. That makes a scary kind of sense. Your dad cut off your allowance. But you're like, you look like you're 50. Oh, shut up, go away. Alright, well, let's call the UFO then. Oh, crap. <laughs> Police are already on my ass, and I ain't even in the sorcerer yet. Sorcerer, I mean, not the sorcerer. Pick me! Pick me! Over here, dude! Go on, buddy. In the car. Lovely. Right, this bit literally tells you what you need to do. So, front fire shoots the conversion weapon, which is what we're going to use to make people join the cult of Ark Voodle. And then you've got to use your abductor cam to shoot the splurge master still. Because you need to use your splurge master on cops and maybe soldiers for an optional mission. So make sure you remember that. Because I didn't read this. I skipped through it like I always do. Because tutorials piss me off. <laughs> and then I ended up needing it. So that's my own fault. So yeah, don't be like me. <clears throat> shoot humans to convert them. Okay. Right. <clears throat> yeah, military and cops. We'll get that done first and then we'll start corrupting people. Lovely. Okay, there's tons of cops in the bloody park where all the hippies are. Makes sense. They're just shooting at me with a tank. Yeah. Leave me alone, you git. Alright, that's the cops done. As for the uh, the military, we can just come over here. There you go. Look, there's going to be a shit ton in here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, here we go. That took like 10 seconds. Right, now we're going to corrupt everyone. What a god. Thank you. I am a god. Might change my uh, name to Be Wolf the God. You're off your noodle if you don't worship our poodle. <laughs> you're off your noodle if you don't worship Ark Voodle. Oh, oh, come on. If you're going to start saying shit like that, no one's going to join. Get some better lines than that, buddy. Huh? What did you just say? You fart for what? How does he do that? Honk if you love Ark Voodle. You tried the rest. I like you got these little bundles of people that you can uh, convert. Lovely. There's normally a lot of people over here. 
Yep. Give me a K. I bark for Ark. I suppose you're saying she's fast, but Ark. <laughs> Now, That's not going to get people to join our cult, is it? You letting ones rip all the time. No one's going to want to join our cult. It's going to stink. There you go. Lovely. Easy pair. Look, look at my hippie flipping UFO. It's perfect for this mission. <laughs> perfect. Now, we've been doing very good with the optional objectives. I think every single mission we've done, we've succeeded. The only way that we're going to mess up the optional objective is if I forget to actually read it. Because I've done that before off camera. I've got to like a boss battle or something and I've had something I needed to do and I didn't even read it. I just focused on killing the boss because the boss is in on this difficulty. They are rough. They just take so long to kill. That's the problem. And they obviously dish out a lot of damage, but it's just how long they take to kill. It's ridiculous. You'll see eventually. We haven't had a proper boss fight yet except for uh, Coyote Bongwater. Oh, go away. Okay, we ain't going to have enough time to do another mission, so let's quickly do some more upgrading. Let's uh, have a look what we've got to upgrade. Boots is not really a priority. Uh, this we've done. I'm not too bothered about using that gun. We probably want to upgrade our sorcerer's shield power. Yeah. Yeah, we probably want to get that. Because we are going to be using our ship quite often, to be honest. So it's probably worth having that. And then we can uh, get the final upgrade once we get another uh, piece of blue Furo tech. And then we'll focus on continuing to upgrade our uh, disintegrator ray. Okay, so we've got four minutes left. Do I have any more gene blending to do? We've done that one. Alright, I suppose we can do this quickly. I've got about three minutes. Hippies, cops and soldiers. Soldier, uh, cops would be the most annoying one. And this is to uh, upgrade our free love ability. Well, we might as well do this. There we go. We've been doing this at the end of every video so far, so we might as well carry on. Actually, I'll let you call the police. <laughs> we, we need the police at the moment. But a good place to get hippies is in the park over here and the other park as well, the one where we uh, had a mission with Pops a few videos back where he was showing me about PK Slam and that and talking about Ark Rudolph. That's a good place to get hippies. Soldiers, there's like three places you can get soldiers. Hippies, you find them in little bundles in the areas as well, like where all the uh, graffiti is, like around here. Quite a lot of hippies in here normally. Yeah. Hippies is nearly already done. Cops, the only place I can really think of is the donut place, but it don't they don't seem to always appear. I think you need to like nearly destroy it before they appear. Where is it? It's over here, isn't it? Yeah, let me like let me destroy it a bit and see if they all come running out. Oh yeah, that got quite a lot of them out. Oh yeah, there we go. So if you nearly destroy it, quite a lot of them come running out. Just like with the uh, KGB island. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And the uh, soldier should be over here. Here we go, over here. When you go to England and you're looking for the special agents for further upgrades, in case you guys and girls want to know now nah, before I get there, uh, you can upgrade it. Uh, you can get the special agents by going around. I think it's near like what would be Buckingham Palace, I guess. So just look around there. There we go, beautifully done. And we've got two odd jobs to do around here as well. Okay, gene blender. Blend. There you go. Targets dance longer. Increase how long humans dance before the party breaks out. Very nice. Very useful this is, especially when you're uh, using like... Um, body when you're like taking control of bodies and stuff like that and you're inside people's bodies it's good to use the free love for anybody that's just you know being a little bit too nosy <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> i'm gonna have to end the video now wolf Mobit. so what we'll do next time is we will most likely head to uh, england there is a few more odd jobs we can do i don't think there's any more cult of Ar arc voodoo stuff to do but the odd jobs are not too important and they're most of the time not that interesting really so i might skip some of them in the playthrough 
But if we feel like we're weak and we need to do some more upgrading, we'll come back and get to do some more jobs. Because it's a good way to get some more uh, more uh, upgrade points for your uh, guns and stuff. But yeah, we'll probably head to the UK in the next video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Wolvets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.